Yeah, yeah. A lot of people they they kind of bug out when they um, hear the music, and, and it's, it's like, man, these guys are definitely representing the gold era. Well, that's our era, you know. If you look at it, all the cats now that are in hip hop our age are doctors, lawyers, um, um, you know, just working at big corporations. That's that's where we're at right now. You know, that's that golden age era hip hop for those that came up in that era. So that's what we do. And, and um, like I said, man, um, in the song, yes, I'm approaching my forties and proud of it. You know, <laughs> show you how hip hop does it. We live, cousin. No doubt. No doubt yeah. I mean, we 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 grown folks. I mean, you can't saw the video. They was like, yo, what was the old dudes rhyming? But in reality, we professionals. We know what we doing. We've been doing hip hop for years. Speck a professional, I'm a professional, you know what I mean? As far as knowing our responsibility. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We we do hip hop because we love it. Almost famous like Amos with the cookies. Hip hop junkies for real, we know rookies. Bobby King hit me with the snare stage like Glares 2010, and we still right here. Yeah, we still fight fair, straight battle with the fist up. Still write rhymes in case a nigga try and diss us. And throw some vicious and ill fate, we still great. Better than good, I shoot it straight like that. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Spectac. And y'all, I'm Amari. We are Spectac and Amari. And this is our story. Okay, uh, me and Speck were both attending college in South Carolina at historically black colleges. Uh, South Carolina State University, big ups. Benedict College, BC Tigers. All right, all right, all right. And um, we met through a mutual friend who, who thought that, you know, together we would, you know, just make some dope music. And that's what it actually became, you know. Um, we just We just got together and once, you know, we started vibing, we started just making some serious dope music and uh, this was in the early 90s actually and we are here today 2010 and it's still right here y'all but uh, during that period of time we have created a, like a volume of material that a lot of cats have heard and a lot of cats hadn't heard and it's I, I say the chemistry has been beautiful because it's like the more we grow the more we evolve and You'll hear it when you buy this album that we just dropped. Here we go, good to go, all pro black Negro. Used to rock a shell toe with the fat rope. Raps black hope, is that a joke or just irony? Bell bottom was the things, but chick now with skinny jeans. And rappers say anything, I mean anything. Lord of the Rings, it's return of the king. You know, it started for me in the seventh grade, and actually, the gist of that is I was in my dad's garage. I heard Run DMC on the radio for the first time, and it was Sucker, um, Sucker MC was the song. Um, I heard it, fell in love with the music, and started inquiring. You know, I wanted to know where did it come from, who produced it, all of that stuff. And, uh, of course, that led me to do some research and find out that New York was the bed of all hip-hop, Bronx, New York, to be specific. And I know folks can argue about that one, but that's certainly where um, I got my start. A little small town, Utahville, South Carolina, in my dad's garage. Run DMC, big up. As far as the beat making goes, I was MCing at the time, and the person that was like doing the tracks for me wasn't always available, so. I just started using other people's equipment. I would watch them make beats, and eventually I just learned my way around the loop. And that's where I started, you know, beat digging. Um, I started sampling records, buying records, copying records from wherever, from Primo to Pete Rock to Large Professor to Tribe. They had that real jazzy vibe, and they taught me to, you know, search for artists that I was not aware of at the time and I just became a big jazz enthusiast and um, I just kept it going and now I'm here and my creative process is it's pretty simple because I use the ASR I'm an old school cat and I, I have a simple technique it ain't no you know complex thing or whatever but it's kind of hard to explain but all I can say is this is my weapon right here, the ASR, baby. The first official project would have been the Lessons from the Ghetto EP with Principles and Entertainment, my man JD, big ups. 
uh, Fat Beats, absolutely. But right now, currently through Hypnot, we have released Spectac and Amari Keys to the Vault. Dope project. You got a copy. It's a free download. Uh, DJ Mark One uh, performed the cuts on that as far as the mixes and everything. Good looking Mark One. And basically, it's our joints from the early uh, and, and, and late 90s up until current. You got producers such as Amari, uh, Ninth Wonder, Crisis, uh, host of um, feature MCs, my man Median, What's Good Kid. Um, just a dope project. So if you haven't listened to it, it's going to run you down a timeline. Yes, Little Brothers on it. So it's, it's, it's going to give you a timeline of what we've been doing over the years. So Spectac and Amari, keys to the vote. Definitely pick it up. You know, my favorite tracks as far as the album goes would have to be um, probably the first single, which was My God, because it, it brought you back to the essence of hip-hop, you know, that... Pete Rockfield, you know, that CL type flow, you know, with Spec, you know, Spec can just bring it on his own. But it just gave me that reminisce type feel to it. You know, uh, as far as the actual album and songs that I like, As If certainly is one of my favorites. But the funny thing was, it wasn't one of my favorites from the beginning. It wasn't until we did the video and had the visual. So I'm a true believer now of what the visuals can do for a project. So anybody out there even thinking about shooting the video, holler at my man Rick and let him make it happen for you. So absolutely, man. Definitely check him for it. I'm an educator at heart. You know, I've always believed in the power of working with the youth. So my career in education started as a school teacher in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I was a middle school teacher at Alice Bernie Middle School. From there, I went on to become a high school assistant principal at Chapel Hill High School. Currently, I'm working with an organization called Abbott, and we're a college readiness training organization. So we work with educators around the country, teachers and school administrators, and train them on a curriculum that set kids uh, or gives them better access to uh, colleges and universities around the country. But on that note, yo, let, let these cats know what you really, you know, here to do. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of cats still sleep on. Well, that's what we're going to do. All right. Let me, let me see what I got. 2010 version. Yo, Mari, bring me back in. Yeah. Rick got the camera. He got the gift. The same dude that shot the video for As If. Swift with the mic and Swift with the rhyming. Y'all know the deal, man. Spec steady climbing. Up the charts, playing my part. It's an art. I grab rappers by the heart. Tear them apart. I can't really start cause it's all in my mind Or should I say stop till I finish my time Abari hit the snares, he got it snapping ASR, all red while your boy rapping Purple shirt, far from being nerdy MCs is nice but they still can't hurt me Matter of fact, I'm really not feeling him Nice and slim, hat like Gilligan On the island, still freestyling Cats say he's nice but your boy be wildin' Spectac, but they still talking junk Talking about they old, oh, damn, you faking the phone. It's 2010, y'all, and they still faking the phone. To my man Van the Mater, D Divine Shock him, faking the phone. My homeboy Large, get you all, what's up, y'all? They faking the phone. You know how it goes, one more.